Welcome, everyone. Um, we're going to have a great day, monumental day for the city of Brockton, the city of champions. Um, at this time, I'd like everyone to rise uh, for the national anthem. I'm sorry, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to invite Reverend William McCoy to the podium for the opening prayer. Let us pray. God, we give you thanks and ask your blessing on this gathering and on this vehicle. We pray that it might prove to be an invaluable resource as it has in other communities. We pray not only for the city of Brockton that it may serve, but also the surrounding communities. We give thanks for the vision and for the decision making and the financing that have gone to this day and all involved. Indeed, fire services are a communal service. And so we give you thanks. We ask your blessing upon all those engaged in fire services and community leaders. Keep them safe and healthy and faithful to the calling to which they give their lives. We ask it in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Reverend McCoy. I'd like to call up Honorable Robert Sullivan, Mayor of Brockton. Well, first of all, uh, good morning and, and welcome. I know we have a lot of visiting chiefs here today. Welcome to the City of Champions. We have some former chiefs, Chief Galligan, Chief Francis, Chief Williams is here. Of course, our uh, current uh, unbelievable chief, uh, Brian Nardelli. I want to thank all the members of 144, uh, all the leadership team with the deputies. Um, I also want to thank all the elected officials. I want to thank Council President Suna Castro, uh, Council Lodge Winfalo, Council Jack Lally, Council slash State Rep. Rita Mendez. I know we have State Senator Walter Timothy. Our esteemed uh, State Senator Mike Brady is here. I know there's a lot of electeds that are going to be joining us as well. Uh, but we have to thank our federal delegation because we wouldn't be here without the federal money. And that's just a fact. So I want to thank Congressman Lynch. I've said it many times. Stevie Lynch grew up in Selfie, but he easily could have grew up here in the city of Brock. And he's just one of us and he gets it. And he is always advocating for the city of Brock. And I also want to thank uh, U.S. Senator Ed Markey, U.S. Uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren. Uh, the money that's coming in today, we're getting two federal grants. Uh, one is to acquire this unbelievable heavy rescue operational vehicle. Uh, it's awesome, right? And it's going to be a game changer in the city of Brockton. But the other grant uh, is to have 16 new firefighters here in the city of Brockton. 16 for three years, costing us zero. So let's give a round of applause to our federal friends. I also, uh, I also want to thank all of the, uh, the city department heads that are here today as well. My chief of staff, Sidney Merrill, um, the money man, Troy Clarkson, who I think was disappointed he didn't get to sing the, uh, the national anthem today. Um, but just, uh, just remember, this is a historic building, right? I mean, this was built for horse-drawn carriages, and uh, the brave men at that time, it was only men that worked here, uh, saved lives, right? They, they reported to the Strand. Uh, and they have just done so much for generations. This building will be coming offline really soon, right? So the new public safety building is going to be built. We're ripping down the old high school next month. So as long as I'm mayor of the city of Brock, and this is a piece of history, this will never be sold. This is going to be a museum. But today is a day to thank the chief for his leadership, thank all of the brave men and women that serve and protect every, every single day. We have the best firefighters in the Commonwealth, and I, uh, yes, please. And uh, I am just, uh, I am so proud to be here today, to be able to just say thank you to each and every one of them, but also to be able to give them another important tool in the proverbial toolbox to continue to save lives and do their job. So God bless the firefighters, God bless our city of champions, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Okay, so thank you again all for being here today. Thank you, Mayor, thank you, everyone. Um, I think the City Council are gonna be happy for this thing to be in service so they can not have to listen to me talk about it incessantly anymore. So um, today is a proud day, 
not only for the Brockton Fire Department, for, but it should be for every resident in this city. Um, I want to thank the leadership of the mayor and all he's done to back us, support us, and put us in a position to be able to do this. Um, I, myself, Deputy Chief Albanese and uh, Deputy Chief Deepa Squally, a couple of years ago approached the mayor and CFO Clarkson, and um, we asked them about putting in for a safer grant. We had already received the rescue tour um, assistance, the firefighter grant. We um, talked about the uh, ability to buy this truck, then be able to staff it and get back to 10 companies, which I'll talk about in a couple of minutes. Um, they were 110% behind it. I approached the council, told them what our thoughts were on this, 110% behind it. When you have support like that, and I, I, I mentioned this the other night in my budget meeting, when you have support from the people who are running this city, it makes my job much easier when I can come to them and I can ask them, we're doing this, we want to do this, and this is why. And when they back you up, it's imperative. When you look at the state level, um, I, I speak to our state delegation on a regular basis about different grants coming out of the Department of Fire Services. We're on the forefront right now in the Commonwealth for um, mitigating hazards with lithium-ion batteries, which is a major, major concern throughout the Commonwealth, throughout the nation right now. Um, the, the, our state delegation um, works with the Department of Fire Services, and um, you know, also, uh, you know, I see uh, Walter Timothy over here, Senator, as well as Jerry Cassidy, Mike Brady. Um, these are the people that we go to to make sure these things happen at the state level so we can get this funding. The mayor spoke about um, our federal delegation. Our federal delegation has been paramount in what we're trying to accomplish here because through those federal grants is what allowed for this. Um, if you look at the truck, this, this vehicle is a $600,000 vehicle with about another $300,000 worth of equipment on it. Then, over, four, over three years, about $4.7 million worth of funding for staffing. Um, that is paramount. This is what the city needs. And I think it's important for everybody to understand that. If we're not talking to them and they're not talking to the people that make these things happen, we're not doing our jobs. So as the fire chief, it's my job to push these agendas and work with our, our city, state, and local governments uh, to make sure that happens. Um, just speaking with, uh, with Representative slash Council Mendez earlier, she, we got a nice picture over there and she was so excited about today because this is a new dawn. When you look at what has happened over the years in the city, how the city's changed, how the city has become stronger, that was not the case in 1991. In 1991, we were ravaged by budget cuts. We laid off 32 firefighters. Our number today is over 20 members larger than it was back when they laid off. And that is because of the efforts of the people that came before me, the Chief Ken Galligans, the Chief Richard Francis, Chief Michael Williams, the presidents, Bill Paolo, Archie Gormley, Bill Hill, played a pivotal role in all of this operation. Um, I see Deputy Chief George Phillips here, which was a long time executive board member of Local 144. They were the ones who built back to this department. They built back what it was. At the time, when Chief Galligan took over, Wynn Fowler was our mayor, and they had a hole they had to dig out of. And that was the foundation to get us to this end goal today. So they had to do the hardest work at the beginning. We are bearing the fruits of their labor, which I'm okay with that. I'm okay, I like to work hard. But um, the beginnings of what is really important, and that's what got us here. Um, we've worked over the last uh, three months working with uh, the negotiating committee and the uh, and, and, and executive committee of Local 144 to make sure that this happened. And we wanted to make sure that um, in discussions we were going to make sure we kept all the residents safe. And that was the conversations we had in my office time and time again with the union executive board, um, Deputy Chief Gallagher, Deputy Chief Pasquale were with me that entire time. Um, but these are the things that make things happen. This is a collaborative effort from everybody. This isn't the chief, this isn't the mayor, this isn't anybody in particular. This was a team effort. And I think, like the mayor says on a regular basis, that's how we get things done here in Brockton. No one does it alone, and that's the fire service. So I think just to discuss a little bit about the truck, and I don't want to bore everybody too much, um, but I, I think the counselors know, 
I have to, I, I think I get a cutoff sign once in a while before I'm in the, when I'm in the council about, okay, you don't have to need to talk anymore, Chief, because I talk too much about this stuff, because I love this fire service, but I love this fire department, because I have the greatest people on the face of the earth I get to work with every day. Um, people said to me in 1991 when they decommissioned um, Engine Company 1, and we started to get apparatus back over the years with the leadership prior to us. Um, for the last 30 years, we've been, over 30 years, we've been trying to uh, put that building together and build that back up. Well, people said to me, well, why don't you just replace uh, Engine Company 1? And my thought process and the thought process of, the exec of, of my command staff that you see sitting next, standing next to me was, our job is to evolve. The fire service is evolving, and we need to evolve with the way the world is evolving. Um, anyone could put a fire engine back here like any other engine company that performs the same roles. But when you drive around the city of Brockton in the burgeoning economy you're seeing here and the buildings being built and the businesses coming in, the residents coming in, and you see all these people, they need protection. They need protection in a different way. And what we've been able to do is create a piece of equipment that will emphasize what we currently do and then more. All of a lot of this equipment you see on this truck and what you're gonna get to look at later, was equipment that we've had, but it was on five different pieces of apparatus throughout the city. So it didn't operate as efficiently. This allows us to operate efficiently, and then with the staffing, we can staff the vehicle and actually get the job done. Um, a, a big shout out, um, very importantly, uh, my dear friend and company commander, Captain Sean Kerr. Um, Captain Kerr and I have been talking about this for three years now since I was a deputy, and um, we, we put this out to be, and, we got a lot of people that were interested in being on this truck. I think we, 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 we did a good job of getting the right people in the right places that are gonna carry this forward. Some of us that are getting gray are on the backside of our career. So again, like the building to this point was not about us. The future of it is not about us. It's about these young faces you see over here of these young firefighters that are gonna staff this truck, whether they be the guys riding the back step, ladies riding the back step, personnel riding and commanding the vehicle. It is about the future of where we're gonna go in this fire department. And to be able to get back to 10 companies again is a monumental feat. So I wanna thank them for stepping up because I think some people, you know, you're gonna do an operation like this and people are a little hesitant. They're happy, they, they have a job they do on a daily basis, whether they're a ladder company, a, a squad company, an engine company, whatever it is. These gentlemen are gonna be pioneers and they're gonna be able to step in a role that's gonna be a little different. Now we're gonna have growing pains? Absolutely, I think you need to expect that. But I think in this, the end, this will help us not only protect the residents of Brockton that we're here and sworn to do. We're here and sworn to protect the residents of Brockton. We are in a service industry, and we need to make sure we remember that every day. But absolutely to protect our own firefighters. We're able to put all the tools we need in a very bad situation if one of our people get in trouble immediately to work. They'll be there on the scene ready to get civilians as well as our own personnel out. So, People ask, what's the ladder gonna do? What's the squad gonna do? All these companies, they're gonna perform the same. What this will do is we'll increase the efficiency of how we do it, how we can do it better, and how we can protect the residents of the city of Brockton that we're sworn to protect. So I thank you all for being here. The rescue members that you see here would love to show you around their truck. They'd love to show you around the equipment that they've statically set up on the other side of the apparatus. Um, this is a great day for Brockton. This is a great day for the Brockton Fire Department. Godspeed, thank you all. That's the end of the program. There are refreshments, um, coffee, muffins, different things of that nature. Um, please have a, have stand, hang around and uh, you know, please look at the truck. This is, this, is, this is an amazing vehicle. One of the things that's important people need to recognize is that this is the only one on the South Shore. So this, is a, this, is, this turns Brockton into a beacon for the rescue services on, on the South Shore. So thank you. Hang around. See the static equipment. Meet with the guys that are going to be on this vehicle and uh, enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you.